difficult to access. After snaking through the hilly northern Sinai, it is here that the visitor discovers the sacred monastery of the God-trodden Mount Sinai, popularly known as St. Catherine's Monastery, hidden at the mouth of this gorge at the foot of a mountain. This UNESCO World Heritage Site has become so important that a city has developed around it to accommodate thousands of pilgrims and tourists. The year of uh, 2002, uh, UNESCO announced this area uh, to be a, a world heritage place uh, or area uh, because of many reasons for this choice. One of its prominent features, the 6th century chapel of the burning bush, is believed to be constructed on the site where Moses had seen the burning bush, and this living bush is purported to have been the same seen by Moses. The burning bush is very old in the age of the prophet Moses. Uh, there are uh, many trials to cultivate this uh, tree in many places in the world, especially in the United States of America, in Europe, but uh, they not success. Uh, this is the only place in which this uh, tree uh, germinated and cultivated. Many trials, uh, they failed. The monastery run by the Greek Orthodox Church of Jerusalem has a library which preserves the second largest collection of early codices and manuscripts in the world, outnumbered only by the Vatican Library. Uh, there are about 4,000 book, books in this library. There are also uh, 3,000 manuscripts in this uh, library. Uh, they are very old, very ancient. Uh, and also, of course, very important. It is not unusual to see Muslims, Jews, and Christians pray here as the monastery is holy for the three religions. It is believed some 500 years after the execution of St. Catherine of Alexandria, her body was discovered on this mountain, with hair still growing and a constant stream of healing oil issuing from her body. Bobenard Fonkamuta, CRTV News, St. Catherine City. Egypt.